up, my triple love and YouTube friends? Just finished up the motor on Redemption. Got all the fluids back in it, and we're going to do a fire on it. First time firing it up since we got the new crank in it. Mike actually just says to me, he says, you're actually just going to, like, first time out, fire right up on video, no test try? And he's, I'm like, nope, we're just going to see what happens. Way. Yep, just going to do it. So at uh, this point in time in the video, I say go to the refrigerator. I'll give you a minute. Go get your nice, tasty favorite drink. Whether if it's one of these or pop or whatever, whatever your preference is. But I want to talk about the pipes that I have for reduction. I keep getting a lot of comments. Todd, you got to pipe this thing. Todd, you got to put pipes on. Todd, we need a pipe. But Todd, you got to get some pipes for it. Todd, you need pipes. You need pipes. You need pipes. I've been hearing all about pipes. I have pipes. I even said it in one of my first videos when I started building redemption. I was going to put it together as stock. I was going to run it for a while, make it prove itself, and then I was going to pipe it. You put a set of pipes on something. It's not always just bolt pipes on and go out and ride the next day. A lot more comes along with it. Ultras happen to be one of them sleds that are a little bit uh, pipe picky. Uh, the right kind of pipe is a big one. Then you got to change your CDI box. You got to clutch it. You got to jet it. You got to do this. You got to do that. The list is it's five pages long in an owner's manual of how to pipe one of these. But I do have a set of PSI mod blasters for it. I got from a nice guy in Idaho. Um, gave me to him a really good price. He sold them to me for, and then he shipped them to me. Um, but somebody had actually added a muffler on the back of. So here's the part that goes down in the, through the belly pan, and somebody put this flapper thing in here. So like when it was running, the flapper would close, and it went through this muffler, and then it exited out another hole. Kind of a bizarre deal. I'm guessing it was for a sound ordinance wherever they were riding at, so they had some kind of a muffler thing. He cut it off for shipping purposes. I said, I don't need the muffler, so i got to refab up some stuff here. I want to clean them up. I want to ceramic coat them, but being I have some fab work, I want to do that before I go ahead and get them ceramic coated. So these pipes will be on eventually, just not right now. And the guy we do have, have our, do our ceramic coating, he's months out right now. He said, if you want something done before the end of winter, it ain't going to happen. It will happen if you want to pay double. Because that's what he's getting. He's getting people paying extra just to get their stuff done. He's a great guy, does super fantastic work. If you can be patient, the price is awesome then. If you can't be patient, then you're going to pay for quick service. And uh, I'm patient. I'm a very patient person. So I can wait for these to get ceramic coated before I even put them on the sled. So Trent's been doing some more cleanup work. Project Three Fingers here. He's been polishing up his cylinders. We'll get to doing some port work on stuff. He hasn't really touched the tunnel at all. But, all right, guys, hopefully everybody's got their cold drink of choice there. We're going to have a little cheers here. And uh, Trenton's going to yankee on the old rip cord here and see if we can get fire in the hole. But cheers to all of our YouTube friends. Thanks for watching all the videos. Mm. My buddy Pat says, angel piss in every can. Oh, is that stuff good. Good, 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 good. Well, Trenton, let's... Uh, Let's give the cylinders a squirt, huh? Yeah. This is what we always do before we, when we dry fire a sled with no gas or anything, we just throw some gas in the cylinders right off the bat. Saves on the arm, saves a lot of swearing. It just, things go a lot easier if you just do it this way. What did everybody think of all them XCR 800s in that one video of Derek's collection there? A lot of great comments. Derek had a hell of a collection there. Uh, I can't talk highly enough about the guy who's such a great host, and, and uh, it was fun to see his collection of XCR 800. He's still struggling with the one. He uh, was mentioning to me last night. He said, uh, Candy, still uh, still not working out for him right now. She's uh, throwing a fit, and uh, said he was about ready to sell it. And I said, I could eliminate some of your headache and come with cash in hand and take it home, and he's not quite to that point yet. Let's see if Trent can make this thing pop off. Let's hear redemption again after the new crank. Yeah, we'll try it one more time. Oh, does that thing sound amazing? I miss that sound. <laughs> Haven't heard it in a while. <laughs> a couple weeks. <laughs> I think total time of, of tearing the engine down and actually putting it back together, I think I have about two hours total into this. 
over a couple nights because I only work on it for like a half hour at a time. But it didn't take long to do, especially when I just did it like a month ago. So I already knew what wrenches to have in my hand and knew exactly which wrench had to go to what bolt. <laughs> Kind of fresh, huh? Yeah, it was still fresh in the head. Yeah. I'd just leave that choke on too, Trent, until she's popping on all three. Come on, you can do it, Trent. All right, give it some throttle. Struggles are real. We could have deleted all that stuff out and make it look like everything fires on the first pull, but no, no, struggles are real. Sometimes it doesn't go as planned. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I will get some riding videos in soon. The last two weeks straight here in Minnesota has been so below zero that it ain't worth trying to go out and ride right now. Yesterday morning was 30 below at the cabin. This morning was 27 below. That's just the air temperature. It was... Um, the wind chill was off the charts. They didn't even have a measurement for the wind chill this morning because it was just crazy. So uh, I haven't been able to get out, get on the sleds to actually even do any kind of riding to get some riding videos. So best I can give you right now is some startup videos. Hope this holds you over until we can get out on the sleds and get us ripping around on the sleds a little bit. So thanks guys.